So this is beautiful Martha's Vineyard uh, in Massachusetts. Beautiful area, spending the day walking around, but most importantly, I wanted to come to see mostly this bridge that's right behind me. You can see the truck going over it now. That is the very bridge that in 1969, Senator Ted Kennedy mistakenly drove off the side of that bridge, flipping his car upside down, landing in the water, and killing his female passenger. There are a lot of theories and a lot of opinions and questions that still remain today about what happened to the lead up to that and also after that. Uh, I believe he didn't record or report that accident until nine or 10 hours later the next day. It's a very interesting case, very sad case, but I'm here to retrace the steps to show you, of course, the bridge, but also the cottage where Ted Kennedy and Mary Jo Kopechny were attending a party, a celebration. They ended up leaving and that is when this accident happened. So I'm gonna show you that cottage, show you the bridge, and I'm gonna show you the hotel where Ted walked back to that night. So the first part of this whole story, this whole night, started right here, the Lawrence Cottage. Now that night, there was a party going on. It was a celebration for all the girls, all the women that they called boiler room girls. It was a political type of thing. Uh, most of those girls, most of those people there had worked on Robert F. Kennedy's 1968 run for the White House. Now you can see things are different. Uh, it looks like obviously an addition is on the left. You can see things have changed dramatically. Kennedy would later state that he was tired and he was about to leave the party and Mary Jo Kopechny did not feel well and she had asked the senator for a ride back to the ferry and then ultimately back to her hotel in Edgartown. So Kennedy stated that they left the party uh, sometime after 11 o'clock uh, with the attempt to make the last ferry, I believe, was midnight. He claimed to have made a wrong turn and ended up down by the Dyke Bridge. Now, oddly enough, Kennedy's statement completely goes against the local deputy sheriff's account who said he was getting off work about 12.30 that night and actually passed a black Oldsmobile believed by him to have been Senator Kennedy's car parked at that very intersection where he claimed to have gone right when he should have gone left. And when he approached the car, the car took off into the night down the road in, of course, the wrong direction of that ferry. And here it is. This is the infamous Dyke Bridge. Now, of course, this bridge is very different than it was in 1969. I think it's been completely redone, replaced. Obviously, they, they wouldn't have that kind of bridge nowadays. I mean, a lot of cars cross over this going out to the beach. So you would have, you know, they'd have to have something safer than what they did. This one has completely been replaced. Uh, the one in 69, the one that he drove off of, did not have any kind of side guard, side rails, nothing like that. It was really just, had like a little curb, little piece of wood, and uh, that was it. So he was coming from this, from this direction back here, driving across the bridge this way. Now out this way is only sandbar. I mean, it's just, you, in fact, you can see from these signs, your tire pressure has to be lowered. It's really only for four wheel drive vehicles. He certainly did not have that. I don't know what it was back back, th back in 1969. So he came down the road right from, from this direction here, down the hill, and drove off the bridge right here, right at this spot. The bridge is kind of on an angle. It kind of, the road curves to the left. So yeah, if you're driving kind of fast and not paying attention or don't know the roads and it's dark out, certainly back then you could have 
easily driven off the side of this bridge here. Now you can line one of the shots up pretty much right from here. Uh, the car came coming this way and kind of flipped and went into the water right there. In Ted's statement, he claimed that he actually went back down to the car and uh, tried to free Mary Jo, but he, he couldn't find her, he couldn't get inside the car, and he was very distraught and obviously confused about what was going on. He said he didn't even remember how he even got out of the car. And from that point, he walked back to the cottage party about a mile to maybe a mile and a half away and he said that he returned to this bridge with some friends some time later but they were still unsuccessful with finding Mary Jo. And after that final attempt with his friends, I believe they drove him up to the ferry. Again, the ferry was closed at that time, so either by boat or possibly Kennedy swam across the channel. Uh, I've heard varying bits of information on that, but in any event, he made it across to Edgar Town and then walked back to the hotel where he was staying. So this is downtown Edgar Town here, uh, just a very short distance, a short ferry ride across from Chappaquiddick Island. And this building here, this used to be the Shire Town Inn, and it's here where Senator Ted Kennedy was staying. Now, I don't believe it's the Shire Town anymore. I don't even know if it's even a hotel anymore. But um, he ended up walking back here very early in the morning and um, I guess passed out or tried to get some sleep. That morning, Kennedy left the Shire Town and went down to the local police station where he wrote out his statement ultimately some 10 to 12 hours after the accident actually happened. Now at the same time that next morning, a couple local people that were fishing in that area of that bridge were the ones that came across that black Oldsmobile upside down in the water. I believe either the sheriff or a local scuba diver went down and could see a body in the car, and that would be 28-year-old Mary Jo Kopechny. And just like in the last video that I posted about the door stuka accident, I have magically brought you to a different state through the power of editing. I'm in Larksville, Pennsylvania at the St. Vincent Cemetery to visit Mary Jo's final resting place here. This is her family plot here. Mary Jo's grave is right over here. 1940 to 1969, of course. And it looks as though her mother and father are also buried here, Joseph and Gwen. Uh, Joseph dying in 2003 and uh, Gwen Kopechny passing in 2007. The scuba diver that went down and actually got her body out of the car said that she could have possibly been alive for hours down there in an air pocket. They found her in the back of the car. I even read somewhere that there were scratch marks from her trying to get out. And who even knows how Ted Kennedy got out? He claimed that he didn't remember, that he blacked out. And was there a window open? Was he able to get the car open? Who knows? He said that he went back down to try to get her several times, but he couldn't open the door. But then how did he get out? There's a lot of weird theories out there a lot of unanswered questions. It's really an unfortunate situation. And you know, Mary Jo really had a love for politics. She worked as a political analyst and could have certainly done something in that field. Although after Robert Kennedy's death, uh, she really kind of started getting away from that profession. So who knows what would have happened, what she would have gone on to do and as you already know, Ted Kennedy remained a senator 
for many decades, was reelected many times, and uh, passed away in 2009 of a brain tumor, believe it or not. So really the only two people that know what happened have passed on. Uh, but I definitely wanted to come and visit the locations up in uh, Martha's Vineyard on Chappaquiddick Island. And uh, I wanted to come and visit Mary Jo Kopechny's grave here in Pennsylvania. So as usual, there is so much more information. I can never put all the information in these, you know, eight to 12 minute videos. So if you're interested, definitely do some research online. Uh, Google will find you all of the information and theories that are out there. I'm getting back on the road. Hope you like this video. Thanks for watching.